Hello everyone, my name is Steve and welcome to the Checkpoint, the early gaming channel that makes money from your suffering. And today I'm going to be bringing you another episode of Weapons of Destiny, the show that analyses and focuses on the weapons of Bungie's upcoming space epic, Destiny. We're looking at the Pulse Rifles today, weapons that blur the line between tradition and the future. Let's get going. <laughs> The PSI Tempest is the first pulse rifle we're looking at today. It's an uncommon pulse rifle, meaning that you may not come across this rifle as much as you'd like out there on the fields of Destiny. But once you do, it'll pack a 360 round rate of fire with a base magazine of 27 and a damage rate of 122. The weapon's range may be short, but with its rate of fire, the gun favours the more agile, up close players anyway, so the running gunners will find this gun very favourable for them. The PSI Umbra 2 hasn't had much information released on it, it was only shown in an image at Bungie's booth at E3, but its, pul its bullpup sorry, design suggests it'll be a lighter weapon, making it easier for the lighter, quicker player to pick it up. The Umbra favours the running gunners of Destiny, the more agile players, and you know it should be a fun weapon to use if it uh, goes by traditional bullpup design of being light for the player. The PSI Voller or Verlo 2 will require players to hone up their trigger fingers as this pulse rifle is a 3 round burst base configuration. This makes it much more favourable to those who play the game slowly, at a distance, popping shots at people on the horizon as the notion of the weapon being a 3 round burst, it improves accuracy over a long distance immensely and you're not wanna, uh, you, you don't want to go up against say, a hand cannon with the Verlo as it will uh, fall short as it is a, uh, a much much more effective uh, weapon to use at a longer distance. The Pulsar MSC is a rare pulse rifle, boasting a 450 rate of fire and a 148 damage stat. This makes for a quick, fiery outburst with a lethal damage output. This means it's easy for a player of any style, you know, run and gunner, uh, a little bit campy, a little bit slower paced, uh, aggression, uh, players of those styles to pick up this gun and feel at home. It covers all bases, However, you won't be seeing as much of these out there with its rare tier of rarity, so don't expect to get your hands on the Pulsar immediately, but once you do, you'll feel right at home. The Pulsar MSM, on the other hand, boasts a burst configuration and a sleek blue colour scheme. The gun itself handles a 415 rate of fire with a 93 damage rate with every burst, making players who are quick on the trigger a deadly adversary. Aesthetically, may I add, that the gun looks really, really cool. Uh, it looks great, definitely one of the best looking guns in the game, so if you prefer style over substance, this may be for you. I think the Pulsar is going to be a very popular choice as the best configuration it makes for, you know, a little bit of a, a difference in, uh, in play styles when it comes to fighting over long range, but it also looks very, very cool, and, you know, I'd expect to see a lot of them out there. The Red Death is our final Pulse Rifle of this episode, and this gun is so incredibly epic that an in-game description states, Vanguard policy urges Guardians to destroy this weapon on sight. It is a Guardian killer. Now, if that doesn't make you soil yourself in fear, I don't know what will. This gun, with its blood red colour scheme, makes for a sinister opponent. The gun holds a, 200 and se a 277 sorry, damage rate, which is very impressive, and it's in the exotic tier of rarity, so you will rarely, rarely see this gun. And you better pray it stays that way because the Red Death is making me scared just talking about it. That damage, uh, that damage rate combined with that, that red colour scheme, it just, it just makes me scared. It makes me uncomfortable. So, yeah, those are the Pulse Rifles of Destiny. Did you enjoy the video? You know, if you did, why not hit that like button and drop a comment down below saying what you think of the Weapons of Destiny thus far. Subscribe to the channel for more Destiny content. We're going to have a lot next week. And until then, this is Steve and I'll see you in the next video.